Shalom, my dear friends. Power, glory, and honor belongs to the Lord. When you see a military man suffering, for example, a police having issues, maybe people have taken his or her picture and posted on social media just to show the world that this person is not good. This person is going through such and such bad thing. What is the immediate reaction? Why is there so much negativity about the police or majorly the military people? Why is there a high percentage of people thinking that police are always bad? When they see a police or when they see police, they usually see trouble. In most cases, some of them have gone through bad things through the police. But the media plays a big role. There are a lot of things, good things, police have done. There are a lot of things the policemen have helped individuals outside there. Police have risked their life to protect citizens of their country. But when one police does something wrong, it becomes news. And when good things are done, it's not news. They are told it's their job. A police human beings, when you suffer in the hands of police, are they animals? Of course, all of them are human beings. But when one person does something wrong, one police does something wrong, in most cases we find that they are usually generalized. If, for example, you want to understand that media at times is biased about the police, if you go and throw stones to the police, then the police start chasing you, and then they capture you, and they, uh, they arrest you. Some media will not show you the original act. They will not show you the time you had been throwing stones to the police. They will only cut that area and show the area where the police are chasing you and arresting you. Then they can change the story the way they want. Of course, not all media. But that's the message I'm trying to bring out, that not all police are bad. There are a lot of things which they are doing good things to the people of their country. So do not judge the whole force as a group, but judge as an individual. Just the way you can go to a hospital, then a, a doctor give you wrong drug or misdiagnose you and gives you wrong medication. You cannot say all doctors are bad. You cannot say you can never go to hospitals. No. If you go and find a single false prophet outside there, you cannot say all churches are bad. And as well as in the other videos, we say that if your pastor, if your priest is misusing the teeth you're giving, is misusing the offerings, you cannot say that you cannot teeth, you cannot give offerings. The devil will take advantage. And we shall sin. Remember that military training is tough. Not all people can stand it. And after the military training, not all police comes out the same. Some become totally different people. Some become masterless. But some, it's their duty to ensure you are safe. And there are laws which protect the citizens. And there are laws also which protect the police themselves. There is right to life, right to property. So they have to protect life. They have to protect the property. They have to protect their own property. They have to protect the property of citizens, the property of the state. They have to protect your life they, as well as their own life. But can we judge all the police based on an individual's conduct? When a police suffers, maybe frustrations, maybe depressions, you find a police drunk, lying on the streets. You don't know what this person is going through. But you take a video, you spread across all media platforms, then the police is summoned by their bosses, or this police is summoned by his boss, and later he or she commits suicide. Are you not accountable? When you found him drunk, did you ask yourself, what is this person going through? Maybe is his family or her family. Maybe it is the job itself. Maybe he cannot handle a certain frustrations. When you see doctors, when you see teachers, police, military, anybody, even yourself. At times, those people who are employed, it is a calling. Some is not a calling. It's, 
just part of their job. They want money. So these are different people. When you're handled by a police, who that job is a calling, is that dif- is different from the one who is doing job just to get salary. But how do you judge such people? How do you judge them? If you get somebody who is depressed, are you going to say yes, you had killed? That's why again you are depressed. Maybe this person has ever killed. Maybe this person has ever mistreated anybody. It's just frustrations, just like any other person. Because remember, these people are human beings. Don't spread bad news because you had one or two bad experiences with them. Don't just spread bad news because of the media. Every year, people have gone through wrong hands, even of a teacher. There are some teachers who have killed their students, they are the kids in school, and ending up injuring the children. You can't say all teachers are bad. There are some bankers who have participated in stealing money for people who put the, their money in those banks. They steal from accounts. We cannot say you cannot put our money in the bank, but why do you put money in the bank and you have had experiences that people have lost their money in the bank? There are some pregnant women who have gone through very bad hands of nurses and some have risked their lives, they have risked their or even lost their babies. But they cannot say that they, can, they cannot go to deliver to hospital because maybe that's one or two cases. So we cannot judge the police based on one or two instances or because the media always tells us the bad things about the police. But there are a lot of good things which have been done by the police. So in short, do not judge the way media judges. Do not judge based on human standards. Judge according to the spirit standards. And may the Lord bless you.